हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर नाइन ऑफ द चैप्टर मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म टुडे वी शैल स्टडी फोर्स बिटवीन टू पैरल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर्स सो लेट अस बिगिन विद इट टू अंडरस्टैंड फोर्स बिटवीन टू पैरल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर्स लेट अस हैव एन इलुस्ट्रेशन इन द बिगिनिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट consider a straight conductor p carrying i1 current due to that i1 current it will have a magnetic field around it as shown at one point let me try to take the magnetic field direction this point magnetic field is into the plane of the paper and the value of this magnetic field we can find out using ampere's law and we have done it already and it comes out to be b1 is equal to mu not i1 divided by 2 pi r this comes from magnetic field due to a infinitely long current carrying conductor concept right now our intention is trying to place one more conductor so that i get two parallel conductors okay two parallel conductors so i'll try to place a conductor q at a distance of r from p if we try to place it it would be here at this point so from this i get to know that there is a magnetic field b1 which is due to conductor p and in that magnetic field we are placing conductor q now for conductor q b1 will be external magnetic field so in the presence of external magnetic field this conductor q will experience certain force so that force will be given by this formula which we have already studied this force will be f2 equals to i2 into l cross b1 here l is the length of conductor q and its direction will be along i2 now to find the direction of force we shall try to do is l cross b so if we try to do l cross b the direction comes out in this way so we have taken the direction using cross product rule and the force direction comes out towards p along with this concept let us try to see whether there is a force acting on p or not so if we try to keenly observe due to conductor q there will be magnetic field around itself that magnetic field will try to act like external magnetic field for conductor p and we can see its direction here and i am trying to take because of conductor q magnetic field is b2 this magnetic field is coming out of the plane of the paper and if we try to apply this same formula or cross product rule so we get the direction of force to be towards q so we see that the force are acting opposite with each other that means the conductor q is pulled towards p and p is pulled towards q that means both the conductors are attracting each other so when the current is flowing in the same direction in both the parallel conductors they get attracted with each other so with this much amount of knowledge we can proceed for studying the concept in detail so let us begin consider two parallel conductors p and q having length l let i1 and i2 be the current in them and let the current be in the same direction let both the conductors be placed at a distance of r from each other as shown in the figure so here let us try to find the magnetic field 
at uh, this point on the conductor Q due to the current flowing in P that would come up to be B1 is equal to mu naught I1 divided by 2 pi R here I1 is the current which is flowing here because of this we have magnetic field here that is B1 and it is at a distance of R so we have written it everything and mentioned here and this magnetic field is into the plane of the paper now the conductor Q carries I2 current which finds itself in the magnetic field B1 so in the presence of external magnetic field B1 this conductor will experience a force that force can be written as F2 is equal to B1 I2 length of the conductor into sine theta here theta comes out to be 90 degree the reason is L and B are perpendicular with each other so that's why theta is 90 so sine theta comes out to be 1 that's why we get F2 is equal to B1 I2 L further substituting the value of B1 from equation 1 we get this expression that is F2 is equal to mu naught I1 I2 L divided by 2 pi R and here the force is directed towards the conductor P so this is an important equation we shall mark it and preserve it for further proceeding ahead now let us try to find out the force on the other conductor that is conductor P similarly if we use the same concept the force experienced by conductor P due to the conductor Q will be directly written as F1 is equal to mu naught I1 I2 into L divided by 2 pi R and here this time the force will be directed towards Q since both are identical that's why we are trying to write the concept very directly so this comes out to be a one more important equation here we see that both the equations are having their RHS values same that's why we can write F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F the force between both the conductors is same further we shall now try to take L on the LHS side and we get it to be F divided by L is equal to mu naught I1 I2 divided by 2 pi R here F by L will be force per unit length of the conductor so force per unit length of the conductor is useful when the conductor length is infinitely very large moving ahead let us try to utilize this concept to define one ampere of current so let us try to write the formula force per unit length of the conductor when we are having two infinitely long straight parallel conductors so when conductors are infinitely long we can use this formula here if we try to substitute I1 and I2 is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1 meter then we get terms like this so we get in the place of I1 is equal to 1 I2 is equal to 1 and R is 1 that means distance between both the conductor is 1 current is 1 ampere in both the conductors and we already know mu naught value for space that is vacuum will be 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 and once we try to simplify it we get it F divided by L is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 Newton per meter so one, 1 ampere of current flows through the both conductors when they are kept at 1 meter distance then force per unit length of the conductors will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 Newton per meter so if I try to define it it would be this 1 ampere is the steady current which when flows through both the infinitely long parallel straight conductors 
placed one meter apart in vacuum will cause a force on one another this force will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 newton per meter length so this is the definition of 1 ampere proceeding ahead let us try to study what happens when two parallel conductors exert force on one another depending upon the direction of the current so when the direction of current in both the conductors is same then they start attracting each other there will be attractive force between them and if the direction of current is opposite with each other then they start repelling each other so you can utilize the cross product rule and apply on each of these two and find out the direction of force and finally confirm it so thank you students and see you in the next video lecture